Hello there everybody and welcome back to another pro demo review and in today's episode we're going to be looking at everyone's favorite NA player, of course it's Bolo. Unfortunately for Bolo and TSM they've ridden some really high highs and some really low lows across the last sort of 12-18 months after winning SI uh, 22. They went on to then finish 9th and 8th in stages 1 and 2 of the NAL. Uh, so a massive slump but then they had a couple of roster changes heading in to stage three they shuffle the rolls around it feels like they now have a pretty good uh, uh return to form uh qualifying for the major after finishing first in the nal so a big bounce back and then doing a pretty decent job at the tournament itself leading in to hopefully a run towards si quals we'll jump into the video uh running bolo's uh 430 aspect ratio 85 fov also changed his uh to his site color as well so we're going to see this game from his perspective. Now it's TSM taking on Sonics in the playoffs. Spoiler alert, TSM don't go on to win this series. Sonics actually have a really good run throughout the tournament as a whole really and, and do win this series. However, TSM win this map and Bolo across the board actually has a pretty good performance. So I wanted to jump in to the demo, chill out, see what's going on and hopefully learn a thing or two. So Villa attack obviously can be tricky at times. Sonic's interestingly actually going to go to Kitchen for the first round. And Bolo jumping onto the Twitch, one of his trademark operators. The F2 in his hands can do so much damage. And we'll see about how he goes about trying to uh, inflict that. Spot a player through the drone hole. This is one of the more annoying drone holes as a defender, trying to rotate through 90 if you're playing this balcony. Not only can you sometimes Feed a bit of damage, but also feed information to your team. And I think at the moment, just trying to sync up a push with the rest of his team. Up above, on the top floor. Being quite patient on the entry cans and actually gets the first. On to Snake with a Nitro. Snake and Gasha being two of the newer additions to the roster. And it started to feel like TSM began to click a little bit. In the third stage, I mean, first place after a bit of a disaster in the first two stages certainly would suggest so. And Bolo, a player that also found a bit of form himself. Still lurking now, finally gets an entry. Mindful of a frost, not that there's one in play, but muscle memory. He'll push forward. Here's him now with control of the top floor. And for Bolo, it's been a pretty slow going map so far. Really good drone in sight. And you feed information over towards the west. And Snake, who's now dead, of course, can sit on these drones and give info to the Vert players. And we'll see where Bolo elects to go. Has a read that there's a player up above. Geo shut down on the flank. Former teammate. Now 20 seconds to go, Bolo will need to go for an entry, smokes off red stairs, I thought maybe he'd go for the vault there. This is a really late rotation, only 15 seconds to go, he's going to go all the way over across to Piano. I don't know if he knows if living's clear, and that's the risk, right? Cap can in trap, in play he hits that. Nice pre-fire there onto the second, but then hits another Cap can trap. <laughs> so Bolo, they're really unlucky, but obviously left it really, really late into the round, and TSM as a whole are going to struggle to close that out and uh, not the best of starts. Round two now and it looks like the TSM are perhaps going to be a little bit more proactive this round. A little bit more aggressive. Try not to allow the clock to play as much of a factor. Unfortunately they do lose the first pick again so they'll be on the back foot which isn't the position you want to be in. They sneak past default or maybe they took it out. Sometimes the demo can be a bit buggy. Either way they're now Got a bit of control top round. And Bolo on the Ash this time. Not as common of an entry these days in the era of Yana Zofia. Even Nook on a map like this. Who actually wasn't banned out. But we'll see what kind of damage he could do. And that's a clean start there for Bolo. And Gasher as well. Gets one. So TSM able to flip the round back. Now get control of 90. A decent uh, map control here towards the south. Now just establishing some flank watch 
Sonic showed in the first round that they weren't really too afraid to go for flanks even at a pretty significant time and man advantage, so certainly wise to have that up in play in combination with the Nomad. Rollo now playing Contact. Again, Suppressor so prominent in the meta of the Major. A lot of pros running it on Yana and Ash, respectively. Another clean shot there from Bolo and a second. <laughs> and that's just such a Bolo play. Probably didn't really deserve to win the second there. Grixa should have traded. But nonetheless, can't fault the uh, the entry effort there. And now it's just cans and left in the 1v4. So Bolo doing really great stuff here on the entry. And that's what he's known for. TSM able to close out that round and if I take a quick look at how long was left in that round, uh, certainly a lot longer than the last round when that execute came through. Um, yeah, TSM all around, doing a little bit of a better job clearing the map there and Bolo spearheading it. Now one of the really interesting things for, for TSM were those roster changes. Nice early pick there, so TSM finally get the opening with Geo and Charlie leaving the roster, Charlie retiring, Geo funnily enough on, onto the Sonics who TSM took on. And that seemed to alleviate some of the pressure that TSM were having, um, some of the issues with roles, etc. Bolo, for example, now looking like he's on a much more comfortable position, talking to, you know, Jesse from NAL, and, and just looking at the stats, they, they reflect that. Bolo's been given the license now to unleash on the entry a little bit. Not only is his entry game really good, but repel game as well, up to scratch, as you would expect, really. Oh, it's two in this round already. His army under lots of pressure and Gunner's forced back down, relinquishing control and achieved wells down below to catch him. So TSM at the moment looking really dangerous. A bomb has been Probably let me know in the comments if Villa is a historically strong map for TSM. I, I'm not privy to that. But based on the way they're playing this, I would imagine so. Control of 90 established. Bolo maybe spotted that player in vault. Oh, to your right. Bolo. <laughs> That's a little bit unlucky, Merc. We'll pay the price for that. And that is just uh, four, three things, I guess. And sometimes players just hyper focused on their crosshairs. Sometimes don't see their peripheral, but uh, it's not too costly. And yeah, another good round from TSM. Into round five, then. So the second last attack for TSM. And an AVG attack on the cards, getting control of the northern side of the map. Bolo with the diffuser in hand. Red stairs not being contested here by the Sonics, neither is 90. That's going to come down to the entry towards site. TSM, I'm assuming, will set up for a vault default, but we'll see. There are a couple of different options here. Now, I don't know if that shield is actually glitched. I'm assuming Bolo did take it out. He doesn't have any ash charges left though, so if it actually stood, then that's a little bit annoying. No, he actually does have some left. So yeah, this is sometimes just the problem with the replay files. They can be a little bit buggy. Especially if I'm scrubbing back and forth at times, but... It is what it is. Bolo now positions at the doorway. I'd be kind of surprised if he does go for the plant here, but... I mean, you look at the lineup for TSM. Gashi will probably want to go deep on the Ying. Uh, and, and achieve Merc and Snake are all on operators that can really frag out here um, at the death. So it's probably not too surprising. And yeah, Bolo will send it in, but the smoke grenade is perfect there from Geo. Forces Bolo back to the secondary plant position on the chassis. The Grixa holds the cross. That's really well played. It's a really awkward position that Bolo finds himself in. I don't think he played a particularly bad ride. Right? He gets the pick. He wants to try and get in, put pressure on the plant. CSM now will send it deep. We'll let this clip roll out. Not too long to go. Sharp shot there from Snake. Geo in the 1v3. And there, yeah, the Ying as well will go deep. So I think, yeah, the objective play there from TSM was really good. Bolo being on the plant makes sense. Uh, unfortunately, he dies, but he got at least one pick. And uh, the rest of the team cleaned up. Aggressive brown stairs take here from Bolo and Snake. In their final attack. 
and I'm sure TSM will want the lead heading into the second half, puts themselves in a pretty comfortable position, and so far they've been playing pretty well. And they stalled out on a couple of occasions. Bolo loves this attack pattern up brown stairs, opens the bar wall to the hard right, pressuring out any defenders on this extension, and Geo will pay the price this time on the castle. So that's well played. Put it in two times as Bolo now drained forward once more. And it's a full map take again from TSM. Unfortunately, that drone doesn't make its way into stat. And Gunner finds a pick. So four versus four. Bit of pressure mounting now on the clock. Kanzen as well. Bolo's second drone at least spots some information. And TSM are going to stack this position to try and trade out bedroom. Doesn't work out though. Rexon with the DMR. Bolo can't quite find the trade. Yeah, and TSM just bleeding a couple of picks there. Bolo probably not getting quite as much information as he probably would have liked. And yeah, there's too many angles to check there on the cross. And it's a 3-3 half. Alrighty. Bolo Jaeger. Pretty iconic for the first defensive round. AVG. Interesting shield setup here. This is... Not completely unprecedented, but he's pretty aggressive here from Bolo. And a position that I assume he's practiced a little bit. If he can uh, get good information here, then he'll be able to do quite a bit of work. Spots the drone through the slit, so that's well played. He needs to be careful of the grenade bombardment that may come his way, especially with uh, Yana being on the board, was on the board, and now the Nook. Four versus three, Bolo repositions. I think maybe, no, I was going to say maybe avoided an aid on the stairs, but he's okay for now. Look, he's down below grenading. That'll get relayed to Bolo here, especially after the kill confirmation. He'll be waiting for that player to maybe come brown, but instead it looks like Sonic's posturing brown stairs with a player study to cut off this exit. Pretty common for a, an attacker to lurk on this position. Bolo hyper aware. Great pre-fire. Goes for a second. Interesting use of the Salma there. And in fact, Sonic's actually doing a pretty good job in that round, but TSM just able to trade it out. And Bolo, again, is constantly finding at least one pick every round. So I can't remember his exact cost in this particular match, but from memory, it was pretty strong. And that's why. Alrighty, Bolo now on to... The alibi then, such a strong defender at the moment. We'll see whether or not that trend continues with some of the adjustments coming in solo raid, but I anticipate that even without 1.5, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I'm pretty sure the 1.5 is getting dropped. I still think there might be a place for alibi. Just? Uh, it's going to be interesting there. Setting up over towards trophy entrance now. Castle in play here from TSM. And that's just one less angle that Bolo now needs to worry about until the barricade gets opened, if it even does. So, I, I like that setup. Often, uh, players in this position need to be hyper-aware of the window because of the vault in. He keeps watching it. I, again, could be the replay bugged. Maybe it is open on his end. It's hard to say. There's also a frost window under the uh, window as well. But Sonic's posturing north side. So many little cheeky angles you can get across in towards Astro from so far back here. And you can see he's achieved as well on the prone angle. Going to be harder for him to remain untraded, but can play first contact. Polo just needs to be a little bit aware of behind as well. Good damage being inflicted, but uh, his former teammate Geo just absolutely destroys him. So watch it from his POV because even for Polo, that was a hard spot. Enters over towards Astro. Just sneaks forward ever so slightly. And probably just avoids the line of sight there from the castle. I don't know if Achieved ever had an opportunity to see that. Just because of the uh, blind spot here on the pillar. And the fact that he was crouched as well. Went unspotted. Also distracted. So it's a really, really good play there from Geo. Um... In my opinion, uh, Stat Trophy can be one of the hardest sites as an attacker to shut down. There's just so many different angles. 
of course that's every site in siege has just a crazy amount of angles you need to try and clear but this one in particular has some really awkward ones but he does a good job and yeah bolo won't have an impact in this round Alrighty, 4-4 four, four, the scoreline. Bolo playing aggressive inside of the master bedroom for a kitchen defense. So looking to hold the vertical presence. Rotero takes care of the shield. Now that's just a replay bug. The shield is not there. And that means that Bolo can't be as aggressive on the door anymore. But he'll still want to apply a bit of pressure. Sun was on the breach. Some shots land onto Rexon, but not enough to find the kill. Bolo aggresses, so actually uses that sound cue of the Selmas to push forward a little bit, hoping that it's masked. He gets away with it, decides to drop the hatch. That's a pretty safe play. Now he needs to think about where he wants to play next. Could also play in a position where he can re-aggress up the stairs. It's looking like maybe he's keen to do that, but... Instead, will assist living. There is this line of sight in towards sheets, which makes it a little bit difficult to play in, but also opens up the cross potential for Bolo. Play hits a Guma and he gets that sound cue. Reads into it well. Drops the hatch. Can go for a sneak up the stairs. I like this play. Don't know if he spots the feet there through the stairs. Could be the replay file, but Attackers gets the pick. And that's a TSM round at this point. It's all about just closing it out now and being careful not to bleed picks. Only 20 seconds to go, so... The defense in a really good position. Oh, they're just being careful of a lurk remaining. entry here. Only 10 seconds to go, though, so... It's likely they're hitting sight pretty directly. Spots the barrel. Gets the second. And now it's just about cleaning up Grixa. 1v2. Hungry for the kill. Can't find it. But it's a TSM round. Back over towards AVG. Bolo on drone front door on the warden. Spots the other of cans and doesn't win the fight. Now it's not one he probably really should be winning. Rotero doesn't find the shield, I don't think. So Bolo, again, in a pretty critical position here. Holding down the stairs, same shield setup. And Warden at the moment is a great operator. With attacker repick, will often force teams off. The Ying, for instance, negates some of the smoke execute potential and the MPX in general. With the 1.5, it's a laser beam in the hands of a player that's as mechanically skilled as he is. Pacing slows down a little bit. TSM do have control down below, so Bolo is probably not going to have too much of an impact at the moment. Or at least doesn't have to be as hyper aware. We'll put it into 2x for now. Playing the same slits. Got to be careful of those Roteros. This one will land, so the shield taken down by Rexon. So some really good counterplay there from the Sonics. Perhaps expecting a similar play from Bolo. This will probably activate the Nook down below to, to pinch the player on the stairs alongside an Execute in study. Library as well could come under pressure as TSM have fallen back in the 4v5. Minute to go. Attackers have located a bomb. Quite a tense position for Bolo to find himself in. Needs to get the timing right and does. Gets the clone, then the swing. Really good game sense, then pushes forward. Perhaps could have been caught there from the outside door at least, but the trade doesn't land immediately. Unfortunately, Gash's smoke does though. Probably trying to help stall out that position and in fact aid Bolo. But nonetheless, he gets two picks. That's his job done. The smoke from Gasho actually does find Gunner. And that leaves Rexon in the 1v3. And this will be a TSM round. Match point then for TSM. And they're bringing out quite the lineup for round 11. Frost. Vigil, Oryx, great pick on Villa. The Bolo will stick the Alibi once again. Spawn peeking at the moment. Study window all of the way across to bedroom balcony. A very common angle. You'll see this one a lot in ranked. But can catch players off guard. Oh, it's a fortunate timing there. It was pre-fired by the attack. 
That's actually a cuter ball to re-peak. <laughs> perhaps if he was half a second quick, I could have actually done some damage on onto the ace. Thinks better of it though, and will fall back. That's the right play in this instance. And being super careful of that jump in. Even with frost on the board, you have to be careful. And now barricade off landing. And you can see Sonic's setting up for a bedroom take. At the moment, Bolo's not really in too much of a position to make a play. Needs to try and support the player on site now, and it's doing so by holding this really long angle deep in towards bedroom to perhaps trade a swing. Fortunately for Bolo, his teammates are doing some really good work on site, so he's now just being mindful of a lurk behind. Again, pretty surprised we haven't seen heaps of Nook play. or well, not that I've been paying attention to anyway, despite not being banned on a map like Villa. But that's great when you're on the defense. You don't have to worry as much about it. 30 seconds to go now. There is a player isolated on site. That was achieved. And Bolo can't find that trade. Again, so many awkward angles on this site for both sides. And Grix actually shuts him down. So, look, that was probably one of the poor rounds from Bolo. Just it wasn't quite in the impactful positions that I think he would have liked to have been in. Bit of unfortunate timing on things like that study peak, things like the trade here on site where he just wasn't quite able to uh, make the players that he would have liked. But we'll let the clip roll through. 15 seconds to go and we'll see how the Sonics go about trying to win this attack and if TSM can deny. Merc, a snake in the grass alongside Snake who will find that pick. Leads it up to Grixer in the post. He makes it into bedroom but he's one shot. See how long he can try and hold out here for. Here's the vault on the breach, but Snake too good on the peak. Merc in a position to trade. He'll be able to counter defuse. And that will be the end of the match. TSM win the map 7-4. Unfortunately, like I mentioned earlier, they don't go on to win the series, but considering stage one, stage two of the NAL, TSM have definitely bounced back. And I'm super keen to see how they go in the SI calls and whether or not they can maybe make that miracle run. Anyway though, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, pretty chill, pretty laid back. Bolo, always good fun to watch. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.